Getting set for baseball now on a and Thursday now, night from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Tonight, the first of this four game weekend set between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. John Neese, an Ohio born left hander, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, I look at his stat line, Matt. I look at his whip, and it's just above league average, and that tells me he struggles just a little bit this year. If he can keep runners off the base paths and not pile up a lot more than maybe the one or a little bit above an inning, then he's got a chance to win. So Leading keeping the traffic Boston, limited is the key to his success in this game. Here's Mookie Betts, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First of four here to start the weekend as the game's first pitch is taken and it's strike one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, Harold, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matt, with both teams on a losing streak, one thing we know for sure, somebody's going to walk out of here in this first game of the series with a win and they get on a winning streak. So this is a big battle to turn things around for you right now. You want to be that team on the winning side. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another one two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Well one thing about him he's an absolute grinder at the plate you can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Here's the pitch on two and two and this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. Something has to give here's the payoff pitch line towards center field. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Matt, I gotta be totally honest here. With Woody Keller behind the dish, don't be too surprised you have a few questionable calls. It's not that he's consistently off, but I've been told it seems like he has a fairly tall strike zone. We'll keep an eye out for that. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch. If you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Just getting started here in the Bronx. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Under it, Gregorius, and that's out number two. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Yeah, when he's going good, there are very few guys as fun to watch as Hanley Ramirez. He's on a nice stretch. That's three home runs in his last 10 games. He's swinging the bat really well right now. And by watching his mannerisms in the box, he just looks comfortable in the plate. He's in some kind of a groove. Here's Hanley Ramirez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Just getting started here in the Bronx. Missed low and inside with it one and one. You know we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. 
And a neck high fastball that time. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't uh, lift. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox. Sox zero, Yankees coming up. You're watching MLB Network. Drew Pomerantz, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, last outing he only pitched four innings. So I know he was disappointed, as was their coaching staff. They're hoping he can get to the fifth, maybe even the sixth inning. He does that and allows their bullpen a little more lean and gives them a chance to win. So that's what we're looking for in this game. And there you see Jacoby Ellsbury as he'll lead things off here in the home half of the first. Jacoby Ellsbury. Now a bunt attempt here and he won't take any chances on that one as this is scooped away in foul territory for the first strike. Harold Reynolds this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Now here's the pitch. On the ground to third. One away. And with that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, Matt, I really like this offense. You know, they're top third in home runs, so they can beat you that way. They put pressure on you. This is a really good ball club, but I do like how they have guys throughout the lineup that can hit the ball at the park. Standing in, Starlin Castro, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. First pitch of the at bat. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't Batting used third. it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's Chris Carter now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. He has been aggressive in this inning. 0-2 on this hitter. The first two outs were recorded quick because he came right after the hitter. I don't think that changes right now either. He's going to continue to be aggressive to this hitter as well. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Pomerantz has his target. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Oh inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes ready on two balls and two strikes here it comes chop weakly to the left throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired so the Yanks go one two three still no score So stepping in, Xander Bogart. He'll lead it off here Touchdown. to begin the second. Xander Bogart. 
Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. A fastball that just misses inside. Not the ideal spot to be right here. 2 and 0 count on a real good hitter. Boy, you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. The 2 0 on the way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. And easy take there. And it's 3 and 1 now. Now, this is a leadoff at bat. Great patience, and he's just waiting for that pitch that's too good to pass up. Now, here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. Batting fifth, third baseman. Oh, man, that Jose check swing was about Ramirez. as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez, currently third on the team in stolen bases. So we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing and a liner. But foul. Oh, and one, here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. And Gardner there to put it away for the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Yankees. I'm looking down there, shortstop D.D. Gregorius. I love how this guy defends. You know, coming to New York and replacing Derek Jeter, that's a lot of pressure. But I knew he could handle it when I had a conversation with Brandon Phillips, and he told me he's got the best hands he played with when he was with the Reds. Coming to the plate now, Adam Duvall. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. the stretch here's the pitch oh look at Didi he's up with it the throw relay the first in time and just like that this side is retired nothing doing for Boston we'll go to the bottom of the second no score Matt Holliday standing in now Yankees. he'll get us going here in the Left bottom Taylor. half of the second Here is strike one call to the 37 year old veteran up there. Nothing and one. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. The wind up and the 0 1. Swings through it for strike number two. Well, Matt, he's been struggling and they're coming right after him. He finds himself once again in an 0 2 count. Here's the 0 and 2. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. All right, time for a majestic defensive alignment for the Red Sox. And I'm looking out there at second base. Dustin Pedroia, you talked about a gold glove, gritty player. That fits him perfect. He's going to catch everything at second. He's gold glove worthy. And then gritty, don't hit him, he'll knock you back. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Oh. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. 
in prior matchups against Drew Pomerantz. Four for 14. He's taken him deep once. And he watches one miss outside. 2 and 0 oh now. Here's the 2 and 0 oh pitch to Gardner. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Ah. Favorable call in there for a strike. Two, two, two. On, Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Hey, every pitcher looks to get off to a good start, and I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Here's Didi Gregorius. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And that one stayed too low, apparently. The 2 0 on the way. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss as that looked like self defense there. It's 2 and 2. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Two complete scoreless here on MLB Network. Here's Jackie Bradley now, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Jackie Bradley Jr. Into the windup and the pitch. Off no. the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Hey. And he takes a cold strike one. Bradley waits on the 1 1. A wave and a miss. Ready to deliver the one and two. Curveball that time, not even close. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by Castro. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting eight. Castro. Blake. Swihart. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. First pitch of the at bat. Ah. Right over the middle, knee high. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Rip toward the gap in right. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And he'll pull in there with a one out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Standing in now, Rusne Castillo. 
As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 1. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. From the stretch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 2 now. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to 1 and 2. Looked like a cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Now got him. Right fielder. Mookie Betts. Digging in to try it again. Mookie Betts. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Boy, this is one of those tricky spots for a pitcher, right? You have an open base, but you have a guy on deck that can do a lot of damage. Not a good spot to be in if you're a pitcher right now. Three and oh now. Hitters up right here, man. Those are two close pitches right there, and you got the call as a hitter. You got to feel pretty good that he's seeing what you're seeing. Third inning, no score to this point. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now batting number 15, second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Striding in once again, Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Another look as he goes way up to get that one at short. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Standing in, Aaron Hicks. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Into the windup and the pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Drilled on the ground to short. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. And with one away for him here in the inning, let's take a quick look at the standings. And you can see that these guys pretty much have the division in hand to this point in the season. Striding into the box, Ruben Tejada. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. Here's the first pitch to him. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. 
Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. And this is just off the outside corner ball two. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. It can be tough to lay off a high fastball like that because right at your eye level it looks like it's so easy to hit and then it's by you. And a fastball just a bit high. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Line to the right side. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. At the plate, Austin Romine. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Let's go. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. He's all for one thus far. Designated hitter, Hanley Ramirez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard on the ground is short. Taken in by Gregorius. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The shortstop number two, Xander Bogarts. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That was a curveball that never really broke, stayed high. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. Hard hit to first. And a step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now batting. Third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Ramirez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. And oh. boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And another foul ball. Here's another 0 2. Pitch popped up. Tejada is going to get there, and that ends the inning. Red Sox go down 1 2 3. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score.
Here's the center fielder Jacoby Ellsbury back to the top of the lineup the as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. First pitch coming here it is. That's a Tough one to lay off, called a strike. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And the throw to first will get Ellsbury as he's gone trying to bunt his way aboard. Now that's a gold glove caliber play there. Barehanded grabs might be one of the best looking plays in baseball. It not only takes tremendous body control and focus, but the fielder also needs to have a quick and accurate release to make it out. A highlight reel play there for sure. Here's Starlin Castro. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. That misses 2 and 0. No strike. From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. It's a solo home run off the bat of Starlin Castro. 19th home run for him on the season as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Well, when it left its back, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know that thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Now batting. Into the box, Chris Carter. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 0. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Ball two now. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, left fielder. Ah. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Holliday. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Into the windup and the pitch. A high fastball is in there. Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. Two out, nobody on. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Betts shading to his right. And the inning is over. Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. We played four, now one nothing Yanks. Ready for another chance? Adam Duvall. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 23. Adam Duvall. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 0. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Yep. Looks at a curveball on the outside corner. Look 
hit down the line at first. Two is left. Carter, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting the center fielder. Jackie. Here's Jackie Bradley, Bradley now. Junior. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hey now. Well, that'll wake One everyone ball. up. No Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ellsbury. He can't get to it. This one's down. So now only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's Fly locked hard. in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher, Blake Swihart. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. First pitch of the at bat. And that pitch catches the inside corner. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. So a chance here to perhaps get on the board for the first time as he's into scoring position on the stolen base. And you can see right there he currently sits second on the Red Sox in that category. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. All even at two and two here it is. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Ready with another two two. Again, he sends it out of play, making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. And the run will score from third as that ties things at one. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively him? until now, fielder, working the edges, painting the corners, Castillo. but he left this one right over the plate, and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. In now, Ruzne Castillo. Out of play. Runner at second here with one man out. And that misses one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball. Ready on one and two. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Working for the punch out and the offering. Another one sent foul. Keep that 
Ready with the one and two. And a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. From the belt, kicks and deals. Two two pitches, a fastball high, so it runs full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And oh, oh, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Looks like the pitching coach might want to have a chat Not here. Batting. Not sure why Mike the pitching Hilton. coach is even Hoopy going to the mound. Back. This guy's been on cruise control the entire game. Might be he's just giving his pitcher a chance to catch his breath, regroup, and regain some of that focus. Here's Mookie Betts. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This ball will be chopped foul. Here's the 0 1. And he just misses with a curveball. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Holiday's after it. Two gone. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Swing and a liner, but foul. One run on three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Low of the fastball here in the dirty, it's ball one. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Gardner is there. And that's the third out. Red Sox strike for a run on the RBI double. Halfway home tonight from the Bronx. All even now at 1 1. So striding in. Brett Gardner. Leading He'll start things Yankees. out in the home half of inning right number five. Brett Gardner. Into the windup and the pitch. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2 0. Oh, it's time to start getting locked in. And there's the first strike, 2 and 1. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in early, it opens up the outside half of the plate, and that's what he's doing right now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. 
but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here's the pitch on two and two. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Ready now, Didi Gregorius looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's set and the pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Seems like he's just lost the strike zone these last several pitches. He's got a walk, and that pitch right there, that wasn't even close. One-o -oh count, here it is. That's wide, two and oh. He's going back to back with off speed stuff to start this AB, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge him. 2 0 oh pitch on the way. Outside, 3 0 oh now. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. That one's in there. 3 and 1. Well, he made a nice adjustment. That was a nice pitch right there. 3 0. Now puts the count 3 1. That was the same pitch he threw 2 0 and missed on it and got the ball called. Set. Here's the 3 1. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. The batter, designated hitter, Aaron. Stepping in, Aaron Hicks. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, he's got himself a little bit of a jam right here, Matt. He's got two on, nobody out. Look, I want to get a double play ball. Just pitch the contact, get the double play here. First and second here with nobody out. Down and away, ball one. Hey, two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. None out, runners at first and second. Hey now, let's go. And this is going to be a foul ball. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball, comes back with the fastball, and now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught in between. You got him set up perfectly. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it ball. comes. Okay. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, we got a big pitch coming up now. That's ball three right there. And look at with this situation with two guys already on, you don't want to load the bases. You've got to come after him, make a swing the bat. First and second here with nobody out. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. 
And this is taken in shy of the track, but the runner will tag from second. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the fly out. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Digging in, Ruben Tejada hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Here it comes on one and one. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Swing and a looper to left. Castillo shading to his right. He's got it and there are two down now. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. A little bit over halfway home tonight. Bottom of the fifth as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys. And they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Stepping in, Austin Romine. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. Pomerant sets. Here's the 1 0. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Hey, this is exactly what you do with the scrappy nine hitter. He's almost like another leadoff guy. He's battled himself right back into this at bat now. With two outs, he's got a chance to get up, go ahead and drive in a couple runs. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Runners at the corners, two men out. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another 2 2. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Boy, and he just won't go away as he fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. Two and two count, here it comes. Hit hard toward the right side. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by on the base hit. In the score, the runner from third. And a relay home. Tag is there, and he's out trying to score from first as the second run. Yankee strike for a run on the RBI double. Five innings complete. Two to one, New York. Here's Hanley Ramirez. It's been an 0 for, for 2 side. effort for him to this point. Hanley Double Ramirez. barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. High and tight ball here one. to begin the inning. It's ball one. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and one. 
ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a neck-high fastball that time. And the pitch on 2-1. and one. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And now a swing here by Ramirez as he sends this one high in the air out to deep left field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. It's a solo shot for Hanley Ramirez. Number 23 for him thus far. And the Red Sox have come back to knock things up at two. And this is an all familiar sight, something we've seen all season long. When they need a clutch hit or an offensive blast, he's their go to guy. And this is just one example in a long line of many. He's fun to watch. Out of the Yankee dugout now is Joe Girardi as he'll head toward the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Won't get a decision in this one, but except for a few mistakes, he pitched pretty well here this evening. Your Brian Mitchell, Mitchell takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 55, uh, Brian Mitchell. Shortstop number Here's Xander Bogarts now. Bogart. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Inside. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Base is empty here with nobody out. Out in front here is Bogarts as he drives this one foul down the left side. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Jose Ready for another Ramirez. chance. Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. And oh. this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Is a swing and a high pop up. Tejada is under it, two gone. First baseman number 23, Adam Duvall. Striding in once again, Adam Duvall. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. What well, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Foul back. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. That's a ball. And he just misses with a curveball. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. But 
the Red Sox tie things up on the solo homer. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Joe Your Kelly enters to do the pitching in the, the bottom Sox, of the sixth. Number 56, Joe Kelly. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. The windup and the 0 1. Over toward the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Betts has a read on it. One out. The batter number 14, second baseman. Starling. Here's Starlin Castro. Oh. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly. He's got five base hits in 24 at bats. He's also gone down on strikes nine times. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Ripped on the ground to first. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. So it's a multi hit game for him as that ball finds a crease into right field. And as you can see there on the team leaderboard, he's currently tops on the ball club in that department as we approach the final month of the season. Here's Chris Carter now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Well, count now one and zero oh with a real good slugger up at the plate. This is the time as a pitcher you have to really make some good pitches. This is not the time to just groove one right down the middle. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. Oh. Man, I don't know if they want any part of him. Two pitches away. I know he's sitting two zero oh now. This will tell us a lot. Will he come in now or will he continue to stay away? Ready with the 2-0. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Sent fouled again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That was a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Matt Holliday standing in now as he'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2 and 0. Two and zero oh pitch on the way, too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, he's clearly not getting anything to hit right here, but I'm telling you what, three and zero. Oh, I trust him so much. I'm giving him the green light. Man at first with two out in a two-two ball game. And no offer by Holland. 
Holiday, and he's aboard. It's ball four. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just now missed, and now right the inning continues with a man in right. scoring position. Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly. He has been silent 0 for 13. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 2 now. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. As a look, now the pitch. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Here's the 0 and 2. In the dirt, and now let's see. Throw over to third here, and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Come on now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And looked like the sinker here, but a good job of knocking this thing down. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Set to deal on two and two. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Bounce to first. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Back here in the Bronx all tied at two apiece as we get set to start the seventh but before we do let's have a look at our game summary through the first six. Jason Shreve is on to pitch now from the bullpen the now to start inning number seven. Number 45. Jason Shreve. Digging in and looking for more. Jackie Bradley Jr. A hit in two tries so Jackie far. Bradley Jr. First pitch of the oh. inning is taken oh. downstairs for a ball. It's one and oh. Now the pitch hit hard to third and just passed his outstretched glove into left the base hit so that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning oh the changeup executed Catcher. nicely and he still got a ground ball they got the base hit he got his ground ball he did everything he wanted to do sometimes it just doesn't work out for him Digging in to try it again. Blake Swihart. He's got a couple of doubles thus far, so we'll see if he can keep it up. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And he'll dive back in safely. 
0-1. Here it comes. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? To second for one. On to first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Well, it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game, but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. Stepping in now, Rusne Castillo. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he could take comfort in knowing that he represents the go ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Digging in once again, Mookie Betts. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control that bat. He's set. Here's the 0 1. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! A two run shot that gives them the lead. It's a two run shot to straight away left and even 20 home runs for him now thus far and it moves the Red Sox out to a 4 2 lead. That puts him in the 20 20 club 20 home runs 20 stolen bases. You don't see that very often anymore because guys don't run as much. But 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases, that used to be the standard back in the day. Now batting number three. Ready for another shot now. Dustin Pedroia. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he'll start the at bat with a slider that didn't miss by a whole lot. It's ball one. A high strike there, and it's one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Hit hard, but foul. The one and two pitch. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Pretty sure there wasn't any ill will behind that pitch, considering he has two strikes on him. Just got away from him, from what I could tell. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. He'll try it again, three and two. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. The next three two and a fastball misses their ball four. What's the saying uh, when you find yourself in a hole the first the thing you should do is stop digging. Well the guy on the bump Henry obviously hasn't Ramirez. heard that one. Hanley Ramirez 
We'll stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And this is going to find the alley. Extra bases here for Ramirez. Pedroia rounds the corner and is headed home. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. It's 5-2. to two. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Pedroia's now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. Adam Warren will come on in relief now, now and he'll be making appearance number 80 on the season thus far. Adam Warren. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Three runs already home here. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Two strikes on the hitter and two outs. I like this. You got to get this out here. You don't want them to drive in a run and you go down four. You keep it at three. You still got a chance to break it open and win on a big inning. Hit on the ground out to short. Gregorius is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, but they strike for three in the two inning. Two, two on this two-run home run. Get up and stretch. 5-2 now, Boston. Your Fernando Abad will come now on in relief Boston, now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Fernando Abad. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's over one thus far. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Lays off 1-0. Here it comes, 1 0. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 2 and 1. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Grounded back up the middle. Pedroia has it. Throws in time and that's out number one. The batter, designated hitter, Aaron Hicks. Settling in now, Aaron Hicks. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Into the windup and the pitch. And that misses for ball one. Not ball. close, it's 2-0. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. 2-0 and oh count and the pitch. Uh -huh. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Well, what's he looking for? 2-0 and oh fastball right down the middle? And he took it? I don't know what he's thinking about. Maybe he thought he was going to throw him a breaking ball. But I think you got to sit fastball there. And this is going to be a foul ball. Oh. 
even at two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Castillo's after it. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. For the Yankee. Stepping in and ready for another Ruben. shot. Ruben Tejada. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's set. Here it comes. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. The double is his eighth of the season so far. Now the 0 1. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, look at the sliding stop. What a way to get it out. Two gone now. That was exceptional. Now Carson Smith Catcher. takes over pitching duties, Austin. looking to get that final Roll out on. now here in this seventh Your inning. Attention, please. Now pitching for Boston, number 39, Carson Smith. Ready once again, Austin Romine. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. High strike there, 0 and 1. Now, I don't have a problem taking that pitch right there. New pitcher just came in out of the bullpen. You want to see what he's got. You measure the first pitch. Now get ready to hit. Here comes the 0 1. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. 5 2, our score as we play inning number 7. Had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Now that's what a slider's supposed to look like. Great execution starts off the plate and makes him reach. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Rounded weakly to the left. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Yanks leave one, and the deficit remains 5 to 2. Tommy Lane has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 39. Jose Ramirez will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Outside target here and he hits it for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. And that one stayed up a little high. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. 
this could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now ball line foul over the Yankees dugout. Hit hard but foul toward first so he'll come back and line it up again. Another one two delivery. One oh. two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Boy that's a tough pitch to lay off even if you know it's coming look two strike slider on the back foot that's a classic pitch but he did a nice job of laying off it. into the windup here comes the two two pitch and a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Something has to give here's the payoff pitch. Just hung in there on that one. Another payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another full count pitch home. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Gardner is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. First baseman number 23. Into the box now, Adam Duvall hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Now the pitch. Low for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. A no. fastball that just misses inside. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. A swing here on the fastball and this will get fouled off to the right side. He's fallen behind now three and one. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. And the sinker runs too low here as he loses him. It's ball four. Now batting the center fielder, Jackie Bradley. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. Let's turn the 5 4 3 here. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Now the 0 2 pitch. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch, and he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way, but it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher, Blake Swihart, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. The 0 and 1 delivery. And this is going to be a foul ball. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Oh, two pitches a sinker that misses, but he's still in command one and two. Has a look now the pitch. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. From the stretch. 
And he's able to fight this one off. Foul to the right, and the count will hold at one and two. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. He'll try again, one, two. Sent out to straightaway center field. Ellsbury is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Red Sox. They're still out in front, five to two. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. He'll see what he can Lead do leading the off the home eight. Center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Line toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough well, out number one. 14. Jumped all Second over baseman. that first pitch of the inning, Carlin. and he didn't miss it. That's Just cool. wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Here's Starlin Castro. And a ball, 1 0. He's 2 for 3 and looking for more here. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. This one skied out toward right. Betts back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. First Here's Chris Carter now, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Here's the first pitch to him. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Comes set and the 0-1. Late that time for a strike. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. You got one of those swings that goes over the top. You're never going to hit him. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Come on, Yankee. The pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail five, two. Dylan Batensis enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now in the box, Rusne Castillo. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Wait. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. O2 delivery and he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two. Woo! 
Now here's the pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Here comes Gardner. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Ready to take his hacks again. Mickey Betts. As he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2 and 0. That's that controversial pitch right there. It's in the zone, should be called a strike by the book, but it's not a strike in baseball, not in the big leagues anyway. The 2 0 on the way. And that one's wide to the mark. Ball three. No strike. One out, nobody on. That one's in there, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Chopped foul wide of first. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is Gardner. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to straight away right field. His second of the game as they open it up to six to two now. Well, you've got to love seeing a team that's never satisfied. They were up, but they've extended the lead to an even more comfortable four-run margin. Going to be tough to come back from this one. Now batting number 15, second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. Now here's the pitch. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now here it comes. Swing and a little tapper. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. Designated hitter. Henley Ramirez. Here's Hanley Ramirez. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. From the stretch. Slurred in there, strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. From the belt, kicks and deals. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul.
Here it comes, 0 and 2. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. The next 0-2. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Pulled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Standing in now, Xander Bogarts, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Check to swing there and pops this one up. And that's going to land foul. A runner on first with two away. Just a tick behind for a strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. The Red Sox tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers. It's now six to two Sox. Craig Kimbrell comes on to work now. And he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Left fielder, Matt Holliday. Matt Holliday is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And in previous meetings with Craig Kimbrell, he's only one for ten. He's also gone down on strikes five times. The 0 1 on its way. Liner towards second. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Well, he hung that one and he didn't miss it. That's what you do hang it and bang it. Here's Brett Gardner now as he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One 0 count. Here it is. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that that just barely misses. Whoo, that's a tough one to get back. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So coming to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far.
And he lays off there 1 and 0. Here comes the 1 0. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Runners on first with one down. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. To two and two now. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Now batting by designated hitter. Trying Aaron to pick things Hicks. up where we left off. Aaron Hicks. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at bat. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Two out with the man at first. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Kimbrell pauses, coming home with the 1 1 pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Just off the inside part of the plate. It's three and one. Here it is on three and one. And this will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Full count with two outs now so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Has them down to their final strike here it comes little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first, and the Red Sox have put an end to their four game slide as this ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. And tonight's ends at a 6 to 2 finish. Joe Kelly gets the win out of the bullpen, number 12 for him. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night.